Okay, today we're going to be talking about double bass stools, what you need to be considering when you're choosing one. I've got three here that I've bought over the years and I'll be sharing what I like about them and what I think, um, yeah, what I think you should be thinking about when you're choosing one for yourself. So let's get into that now. Well, the first stool that I want to tell you about is one that I've had for a while and I can't remember if I bought it from Lima Music or from Bob Gollier. And both of those shops are absolutely terrific, based in the US. If you want great service and good prices for double bass gear, go and check out those, those shops. Um, now, this comes with an adjustable seat, and it's a really nice, nice design because the stool's fairly lightweight um, and it folds up as well. So this is the real benefit of this stool is that you can place this in your car um, really easily and it's the most lot well it might not be quite as lightweight as this one but it's 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 certainly lightweight enough that moving it around isn't a problem and I also find it pretty comfortable as well however there is a problem with it and I've got the one that has these foam or sorry rubber um, grips which hold the seat in place and I found that over the over the time I was using it quite quickly they wore away so I bought replacement ones and the same thing happened and essentially I couldn't stop uh, keep the base sorry the seat stable enough when I was playing it was slowly moving down the stool um, so what I did is I fitted these um, pipe grips I'm not quite sure what you call them uh, but they just screwed onto the side there and then that keeps the stool at the exact correct height for me so it doesn't look as pretty and there's a couple of little sharp edges there um, but it actually is really functional now because i've set the height at the height that i like um, and yeah i can fold it away and that's that's a good option however i wouldn't recommend it because of these rubber grips however i looked on the bob gollier website and they do another version that has multiple sort of crossbars that you can hook the seat onto to make it more stable and although I haven't actually used one myself it looks very much like the same design. So the next one is one that I use in all of my video bass lessons and it's made by a company called K&M and there's some really really nice features. The, the main thing is it's got a very comfortable seat. Um, I've had a lot of back problems over the years and I find this stool definitely to be the most comfortable to sit on for longer periods of time. I generally don't have this back rest on the stool um, because I just don't feel that I need that but if I was playing for longer periods perhaps if I was working in an orchestra um, this would be a fantastic option um, so everything is adjustable you can raise and lower the height and really importantly you can also raise and lower the height of the um, the footrest and and that's really important because not everybody is the same shape and uh, that's a, a fantastic feature that this stool has um, the downsides are it can be a bit squeaky, um, sometimes it kind of needs a little bit of WD-40 to, uh, uh, to keep it working, but I love this stool, really nice. It, it also folds up, however, I don't think it's as practical to use for freelance work where you're moving around all the time because it's quite heavy. Uh, it's definitely the heaviest of all the stools, but if you did want to take it apart, you, you could remove the, the seat and it does fold. Um, but as I say, for when I'm going out and doing gigs, I tend to take this one and I leave this at home for practice. Uh, and I also uh, use it in all of the video lessons that you've seen as well, because I just find that it's really useful while I'm sat down for long periods doing the filming. Okay, the last one is um, made by Amadeus um, in the UK, I believe. And this is a fantastic stool that you see in a lot of music colleges. The music college that I went to, the Royal Northern in Manchester, had a set of these that were absolutely brilliant. So when I left, I bought one. However, the only thing I didn't realize is that this stool is actually, um, it's the one with, it's, it's non-adjustable and out of the box, it's too high for me. So I've actually had a little bit sawn off the bottom of the feet to try and bring it down, but it's still not exactly the right height. However, they do make uh, a model that has adjustable feet, which is the one that I used when I was at college. So you can raise and lower the height of the stool. You can also then lean it in towards you if you found that more comfortable. The seat is really comfortable to play on. And because it has the foot rests at different heights, you can find the one that you prefer. So I generally use the higher one for whatever reason, I prefer that one. Um, 
but it's a really lovely stool if you get the adjustable one. Now the downside, and it's also actually, I believe it might be the lightest. It's certainly lightweight, very similar uh, to this, but this one uh, from, uh, from Amadeus feels a lot more sturdy. However, it doesn't fold up. So you can see there are pros and cons um, of each, but I think if you got the one with the adjustable feet, you'd really like it. Okay, so I have my stools at around 28 to 29 inches. They're both, these two are both around that. This actually flexes slightly as I sit on it as well, but it comes out at about 28, 29 inches. This one I have a little, a little lower. Th this one I think is actually, so that's 72 centimeters. And I think this one comes as standard as 78, which as I said, is too high for me. Now, what I would say to everybody is get out there and experiment using different double base stools um, and check out things like that. I mean, you can get a stool that looks very much like this one from Ikea. Um, but the problem with it is, is that it, from memory, the, uh, it's, it, the height isn't adjustable. So you might find, uh, yeah, that's the height I have it set out there. So yeah, you might find that it's a uh, good value and you might find that it's lightweight and portable and it folds up, but then there's no footrest or the height isn't adjustable. So it really is a bit of a nuisance finding the right one for you. But as I say, check out the websites that I've mentioned, try them out. And if you're not sure, go for one that's adjustable. That's probably uh, the best tip that I've got for you there. There's also something else that you need. When you're using, um, when I'm using a stool, I often have a bit of carpet like this just in my car, um, and that will stop me from uh, either marking the carpet of somewhere that I'm working in, or more likely I'll be playing on a really slippy floor. So I'll just put this underneath the stool and uh, then the end pin can just rest on there and it won't be sliding away from me. That's just a useful, you know, cheap way of dealing with the problem. And then I also have a, uh, an end pin anchor, which is made by Xeros, I believe. And again, I'll provide a link to this uh, below. And this just folds away. It's great because it's adjustable. I find it a bit tricky sometimes getting the end pin in, but you know, it's, um, it, it holds the end pin in place, stops the base from moving. And that's a really, makes, makes it really comfortable to play as well. Well, I hope you found this useful. As I always say, please get out there and check this stuff out yourself because it's one thing me recommending uh, things that you should you should try, but these are only suggestions and you won't find the, you know, there isn't a one size fits all double base stool. They all have pros and cons. So make sure that you do your research before you spend any money. Also, I'd love to know what you think. Share what works for you in the comments below this video. Let's keep the conversation going. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.